Old Money is not Chanel, it's not Van Cleef, it's not all labels and all this crap. It's not flashy, it's discreet, it's quiet. And it's quiet because it doesn't have to prove itself. In this video, I will cover what true old money style is. I'll talk a little bit about the old money mentality, of course, hair, makeup, and fashion. I do not come from old money. I grew up in New York City though, and I went to the best schools here and to an elite university where I was surrounded by people who did come from old money, and I learned by observing. And if you're wondering, Raisa, why do you look so plain? It's because I'm dressed in an old money outfit with old money makeup and old money jewelry. So I'm going to show you that at the end as a way of demonstrating true old money style. First of all, with people who come from old money wealth, I think there's a real perspective of let's have a really stable life and a really stable financial situation so that we can grow this wealth, pass on wealth to the next generation. Because with families who have had wealth for generations, I think there's always a fear in the generation that has it now that, oh, we've inherited all this wealth and we need to maintain it for the next generation. We don't wanna blow it. There's no need to prove your social standing in society. You know that you're old money. Those the people who matter will also recognize that. And there isn't a need to show off your wealth to the world. In fact, I think discretion is a very big part of old money culture because I think there's a little bit of hiding your money and hiding your wealth in order to protect it from other people. I think there's a little bit of that. And flashiness is considered in poor taste. Being flashy is very nouveau riche, which just means new money. It's very much like a desire to prove yourself to the world, to society. Look, I have this money. Look, I have this big mansion. Look, I have this fancy car. That's not old money. The old money people I know drive Subarus and wear LL Bean, like genuinely. In terms of like old money makeup, hair, and nails, of course it depends on the person. Different people express themselves in different ways, but like generally if we're talking generalities, like nails, this isn't very old money. It would be like a pale pink or a clear, something very discreet. Um, makeup is very like no makeup makeup look very simple very much just like enhancing like right now I have on foundation and like a sheer lip tint this is the glossier berry balm.com I have a little bit of brown eyeliner on and I have brow gel on oh and I have a little bit of this Chanel blush which like barely shows up it's just about enhancing and making yourself look polished and um, presentable. It's discreet, it's elegant, it's natural. Same goes for hair, I think. It's just about like, you know, looking polished, looking good. Um, you know, I think a very old money hairstyle is having your hair actually like natural, like maybe a little wavy, looking a little windswept from like walking in the country with your horse type vibe. My oldest childhood friend, um, does have family that dates back to coming over on the Mayflower, which as I said, is like the East Coast biggest like old money flex basically. And um, she asked me the other day, she was like, do you put on your lotion before or after your foundation? Like this is the extent to which she knows about skincare and makeup. And I literally laughed because I thought she was joking. I think old money, it's very like, kind of like at times it can be very crunchy granola. In fact, I think getting like skincare items at the health food store is very old money and like just so accurate to like the old money people I know. Okay, let's talk old money fashion. Before we get into it, I wanna say like old money, I think really shows its money via real estate and not via clothing. So like all the old money people I know have like multiple properties you know, they have like a nice house, a nice apartment or townhouse in the city and a place in the Hamptons or and a place in upstate New York. They have a country house and maybe they have another property or they like have a property that they rent regularly in another place. Like it's all, it's more about real estate um, than fashion. Old money dress tends to be very simple, very classic. Here are a few brands that I think are very old money. So first off, Barber, Barber jackets. That's in my outfit that I'm gonna show you soon. Blundstone boots, kind of like gardening boots, um, inherited jewelry, so like pearls or diamond earrings or like a diamond wedding band or diamond wedding ring, that's very old money is to just like wear your grandmother's ring and not get a big flashy diamond. Um, Crocs, cashmere sweaters, 
um, the row I think can look old money. Patagonia outdoors gear is very old money because like old money people like obviously love sports, love hiking. Um, Laura Piana and L.L. Bean. So in the show The Crown, which is about the British royal family, um, there is a scene where Princess Diana, who eventually married the current King of England, um, was being checked out by the British royal family. Like, will she fit in with us? So they invited her to their country house in Scotland, which is a castle called Balmoral. She went there and she showed up with all the right gear, which was a barber jacket, her hiking boots, you know, muddy jeans, things like that, things that she could do outdoors activities with. And this is in stark contrast to the previous scenes where at Balmoral, Margaret Thatcher, the current um, Prime Minister of England, had visited the royal family at Balmoral, had brought only evening gowns, and they thought it was really awkward and weird. They're like, she really doesn't know what she's doing because obviously when we're at Balmoral in the country, we go hiking and do outdoors activities. Patagonia jackets, hiking boots, like, fleeces, cashmere sweaters, pearls. For a more dressed up look, men have, of course, like nice suits or like nice shirts. Um, you know, women probably wear like kind of like conservative looking like dresses, but it's not like fashion central. It's not all Chanel and Bottega and all of that. Trust me, I love that. I love that. I have a Chanel bag, like I love it. And I'm not saying old money people don't have Chanel bags. I'm saying that's not their main thing loafers, ballet, flats, riding boots, these are all very old money. It's very classic, it's very simple, it's very pared back, and it's not showing logos or brands or things like that. My friend's dad comes from a really old money family. He gets his shirt sometimes from the Goodwill, just because like, who cares? And his mother, my friend's grandmother, she, I actually once complimented my friend on an L.L. Bean boat and tote that she had. It's pink and it has like some random initials on it. My friend was like, oh my God, it's so funny. My, uh, my grandmother bought this at the L.L. Bean sale of like bags with random initials on them. And like, this isn't anyone's initials in my family. My grandmother just got it on sale and gave it to us. And that's very old money to be fucking frugal. Also, I can't get into how old money fucking L.L. Bean boat and totes are. They're fucking practical and amazing and I love them. There are photos of Carolyn Bissette Kennedy with L.L. Bean boat and totes and they're just classic old money chicness. Now let's go over my outfit. I have a few options for us to try out. None of them are exciting. Okay, very simple kind of like antique jewelry. Here I'm wearing a crew neck cashmere sweater and some black slacks. For jackets, we have a barber jacket or a trench coat. I'm gonna try on the trench coat first. For shoes, we have Chanel flats or loafers. I'm gonna show you both. I think these are more authentic. These are a little bit on the flashy side, but I'll show you both. And of course, we have the trusty boat and tote. If you go to the Upper East Side here in Manhattan, you'll see women wearing any number of versions of this exact outfit. I like this outfit with the blue trench coat. I think it gives a bit of like a French girl vibe as well. Um, kind of whimsical. Oh, and then the barber has a very like British vibe. My husband's British and you see these in the countryside in England. Bonus points if it's dirty and in bad shape, kind of like mine. If it's old and beat up, then it's authentic. Old money is not Chanel, it's not Van Cleef, it's not all labels and all this crap. It's not flashy, it's discreet, it's quiet. And it's quiet because it doesn't have to prove itself. So I really think there is something to old money style. It can be boring, it can be simple, but there is something to just letting yourself, your natural beauty shine through and like letting the classics and whatever show off your face and your body. I actually think my clothing brand is very old money because it's all about like elevated basics, like luxury basics for every day that are very pared back, very simple, but also just like add that feeling of luxury for you to your daily life. Comment in the comment section what you think an old money like clothing item or accessory is. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and 